The most prominent colors you get to see in nature are green and brown, as those two dominate the seasons. But how often do you think about the rest of the color palette Mother Nature has to offer? Do you think about the colors that you rarely see? One of the rarest colors you see in nature is blue. According to statistics, there are less than 1 in 10 plants with blue flowers, and even fewer animals that are actually blue. You see, there is practically no true blue color or pigment in nature. This means that animals and plants need to perform incredible tricks of the light to show their blue color. For example, plants achieve blue color through a process of mixing pigments. Colors vary by pigments and reflections. The appearance of pigments in plants can change under the influence of acidity. It's the unison of these alterations and light reflections that create stunning colors of many plants, such as morning glories, dayflowers, hydrangeas, plumbago, delphiniums, and bluebells. The blue color is so rare in plants that there are only a handful of them typically found in tropical forests. The reason why blue flowers are rare in plants is the physics of light, as pigments show the color of the light they reflect, not absorb. Chlorophyll, or the green pigment, is the most common plant pigment because it reflects the green light more than it absorbs. However, plants like blue light more because it carries more energy than any other light. This means that plants with blue leaves are reflecting the highest energy light but using only the poorer quality light. The result of poor light is limited growth, which is why most common blue flowers are found on the floor of rainforests, unable to develop and grow higher. Animals have a much harder time turning blue. The majority of pigments found in animals comes from the food they consume. For example, goldfish get their golden color from the food they eat, and flamingos get their color from the excessive shrimp they ingest daily. Since there are no true blue pigments found in nature or in plants that animals eat, they can't turn blue by absorbing pigment from food. This is why animals have an entirely different approach to achieving the appearance of a blue color. Instead of mixing pigments or using acidity levels, animals get the appearance of blue color by forming structures that change the wavelength of light. One of the most beautiful examples of such structures is the blue morpho butterfly. Its wing scales have ridges that reflect only one wavelength of light, the blue one. If the scales of the blue morpho butterfly were arranged differently, its wing scales wouldn't be blue at all. But what about birds, such as the blue jay? Well, birds have other but similar tricks up their wings. For example, the blue jay gets its color through a slightly different process than the blue morpho butterfly. Each of the feathers is made up of microscopic beads that scatter the light in such a way that every single wavelength of light is cancelled out. Every wavelength of light, except the blue one. However, there is one exception in nature that is known to produce a true blue pigment. This unique animal is called the Abrina olive wing butterfly. So, why is it so important to have a blue color? If the blue color is so rare in nature, why does nature struggle so hard to achieve its appearance? The logic behind this is quite simple. The more colors on a flower, the higher the chances are of it attracting unique pollinators. Recent studies show that bees are driven by the diverse colors of a flower, including blue color. Animals, on the other hand, use their colors to attract attention. That attention can be either good or bad. Some animals use it to find mates, and others to warn off predators. But the only animals that are obsessed with blue color are humans. Humanity has been using blue color for ages, either to symbolize truth, faith, intelligence, and wisdom, or to assert dominance with privilege, what we know today as the royal blue color. So, what's your favorite color, and what makes it so important to you? Share your thoughts in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. We'll show you everything worth knowing.